refreshingly different. Try it and see. I mean, I, I checked the back door, I checked the front door. You still can't go through them, so we're... Oh, the grimy key I had found in the basement unlocked the door. Okay, I didn't... I forgot there was a locked door. It looked the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did somebody break in here? Yeah, it was us. We just don't remember, bruh. What is this? There's an old crowbar on the floor that I need to take the crowbar. Yes. Do you not remember? Only moments ago. I lifted the heavy crowbar. I appreciate it. It's weight. <laughs> this guy is walking slow now, all right? He's got a lot of stuff in his pockets. He appreciates the weight of everything. Jesus Christ. Um, okay. Here we go. Moment of truth. This might be the end. Going over to the wall. You get jump scared right now. It's over. Did I break through the wall with the crowbar? Yes, with a heave! I swung the crowbar at the wall. I smashed a hole large enough to step through. Nice. Kool-Aid! As I stepped through the broken wall, my breath caught in my throat. This was it. Was Rachel down there? Was she okay? Don't, don't look. Oh, no. I'm scared. This is it, folks. This is all led up to this. Oh, it keeps saying don't look. A filthy looking pile of rags had been dumped in the corner. The stench of them was awful and made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what lay within, but I knew I had to. I had come this far. After all this searching, after all I'd seen, when I looked within the rags, did I finally find my Rachel? Do I get to choose, yes or no? <laughs> no, we're looking. Be gentle. Don't. Wrapped within the filthy rags, Pale and still was Rachel. She was covered in fading bruises and what looked like cuts. Her chest was a horrible mess of blood and dirt and I couldn't bear to look at it. The knife in my boot, the gun in my pocket, were they the tools of her murder? I thought about all I had seen and wondered if any of it could help me figure out who had done this. And when I couldn't stay there any longer, I stepped away on shaky legs and made my way back upstairs. Reluctantly, exhausted from my journey, I could no longer resist the urge to close my eyes. Why? Have a... No. Grim discovery. Okay, I can only assume that's fine, Rachel, but... What now? Stop. <laughs> Where... Do we go back down to Rachel or do we leave? I think we leave. I think we try and leave front or back. Front door? What is that? Did I go in the wrong door? No. What? It was the letter I had taken from the post box. Rachel, were you really having an affair with Norman? But why? I didn't think things were that bad. In the letter, Rachel seemed concerned. She almost seemed worried of what Norman might do. Did he... Did he do that to Rachel? Oh, I'm choosing? No. No, because Norman was dead. No, Norman may have betrayed me, but I didn't think he was capable of that. I hated him. I hated him so much, but I couldn't blame him for what happened to my wife. Oh. So maybe when I found the rags... It really was asking me if I found Rachel, not just saying yes. Because I think I heard you. this game gets tailored to, to your choices. From now on, I'd have no one to get angry with me for stupid things like buying this TV. I mean, glass half full, I get... Well, just, fuck it. My old office safe sat on the floor. I used to keep tax records and other important documents in it. It used, it used a digital passcode lock, but I didn't have the code. Maybe I had left it somewhere. Okay, we're looking for the... Thing. I leafed through the notebook I had taken from the forest. In it were the names that I had been written down. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Iris, Daphne, Holly, Rose, Rachel, those poor girls. Were they victims of the same person who had killed Rachel? I wondered what happened to the other names on that list. or well, the ones that scratch out on the wet tunnels. Okay. Okay, the safe's in there, right? Safe's to the right. I don't know if we checked in here. Uh, is this where we... Yeah, we did. We did. That's the letter. I didn't know what to think. I just wanted to put this whole mess behind me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So upstairs we go. Check those rooms. And then I guess eventually we'll go back down to the basement. I have no idea what could have happened. Anyone have any theories? I don't know. This was the old photo of that other man and his wife, I assumed. I found it in that house. I recalled those faded remains I had found deep underneath his house. What had he done there? Well, what did I think? Was that man involved in this whole mess somehow? Yes? But he was dead too. Everyone's dead. I don't, I don't know. Let's just say no and see what happens. I wasn't sure, but the poor old bastard was good and dead. He was a victim, not a criminal. Yeah, that's... I don't understand. I think it's me. I'm the only one alive, so... It was my wallet. Well, his contents intact. Either I dropped that stuff or somebody else did. 
Maybe I was sleepwalking in, or maybe somebody stole it from me. Norman store, that forest, the water tower? Was I at those places before? Yes. I didn't see how it could have happened any other way. I must have been the one to lose my wallet and its contents. But what does that mean? Yeah, he's the only dude alive. Like, maybe I would have... Maybe I would use some of the Rachel's travel books and find some place to go. So he wants to skip town. Subconsciously, he wants to skip town. Can you believe this mother? Within the few broken pieces that remained of that mirror, I could see my face had grown pale and weak. I couldn't bear to look again. It was like I didn't actually expect a reflection. I felt empty and drained. Like a ghost! This dude's involved, all right? Everyone's dead but him? You're telling me. The reflection in that grimy glass was only a shadow, a whisper. I still loved the old time charm of that claw for the bathtub. That would seem like cold comfort then. Yeah. Alright. Have we looked at enough stuff to go to the basement again? I don't know. Oh yeah, we're looking for the coat. <laughs> it's gotta be in here. This is this the last room? Computer! The laptop was dead, but I found some notes and loose paper in the drawer where I had found the key. It was a yellow sticky note with an eight-digit code on it. Did I take it? Yes! The code looked like it might be for the safe. But what kind of phrase was that? Oh, I guess I should have read it closer. Oh, you you would have, you could pause it. You, you tell me in the comments what the hell it said, because I have no idea. Um, an eight-digit code for a safe? Usually it's four, maybe six, but eight? What are you afraid of? What, do you not trust your wife? I'm sorry. <laughs> the code I had found had, left me, had let me access the safe. Did I try to open it? Yes. The code worked. I pulled open the small safe door and peered inside. There was a photo in there of Rachel and I when we had first moved to town. In it, we were smiling outside the front of the house which looked like a real mess. We looked happy, though odd. I couldn't remember who took that photo. Inside the safe was also an envelope. The front of it read, do not open it. Do not open until I tell you. I guess this was as good a time as any to see what was inside. Did I open the envelope and read what was inside? No, you know what? This has been home. Thank you for, no, we'll do it. I tore open the envelope and removed the yellow lined paper inside. On it was a letter written in a hand that looked familiar. The letter read, Prediction. This is a letter written to our, to us from us. This is like, you, you know, you know, you get it, you get it. We're writing to ourselves because we're not we're not all there, all right? Or the sleepwalking thing, I guess. I know this whole event has probably been pretty difficult. You can't imagine how hard it's been for me too. Well, maybe you can because it's because it's us. That isn't meant to be an excuse, but well, I hope you can better understand why I've done what I've done. Moving to this town seemed like such a dream. A quiet place to get established, to live out our lives, and to be together. But you know as well as I do that things quickly changed. Your drinking was one thing, but as you grew more distant, as you retreated into that world of yours, well, it was clear you didn't need me as much. In fact, maybe you never needed me at all, but it took all this to make you realize. In the end, though, you may never forgive me for this. You may never forgive yourself, but this is probably for the best. You'll be healthier for this. I'm just sorry it had to happen this way. Rachel. What? I thought it, I thought we were like schizophrenic talking to ourselves. Okay. Do we go back down to see Rachel now? Now I really don't know what's going on. Oh. It seemed like I had seen all there was. Maybe I thought I was ready to go back into the basement. Yeah. I'm just as ready as you are. Maybe there wouldn't be anything for me to find. But I had to take a last look. I don't understand. Is she gonna be alive? Jump scare coming. I needed to put an end to the situation one way or another. Okay. Then go. If I, if I wanted it to end, I could do it. I could do it with that gun. Did I pick it up again? Yes. It was like hearing an anvil. But I wouldn't let it go. Not again! I've already lost lost one love of my life to the situation one way or another. Okay, we have the gun, go! If I was guilty, I could take this to a warm, safe place and do something about it. Did I pick up the knife? Yeah. I took the knife and I kept it firmly in my hand. Oh, so you need the gun and knife to take care of things? Jesus, this dude's so worried about everything. One way or another. I'm in the... What do you want me to do? Okay, so when you said you're ready to go back to the basement, you're not ready to go back to the basement. Jesus Christ. Right, I went to the basement. It still wouldn't allow me to go in the goddamn hole. I'm just checking everything just in case. The quiet in that room unnerved me terribly, okay? 
The old claw footed bathtub hadn't been cleaned nearly enough. Still, it would probably do. If I wanted to, I could use that knife to finally end this. The question was, did I think I deserved it? Oh, did I? Was this my fault? Did I deserve to die? Whoa! Okay. Okay, so I guess the only option is the goddamn bathtub because I checked everything. No one can be mad at me. I checked everything, all right? I'll look up later if I did something wrong, but I checked everything. Let's go. Let's go in here, I think. Yep. All right. There's no other option, unfortunately. The old claw. Still, it'll probably do. If I wanted to. I used that knife to finally end this. The question was, did I think I deserved to die? Did I? Was was this my fault that I deserved to die? All I can say is yes. Living in this town hadn't been easy. The plant had helped me in some way to stay grounded. It kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I had started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. I had MRIs and piles of doctor's reports, but nothing seemed to help, not even drinking. But I swear I had tried to give it up. I know it. The sleepwalking never really went away, though. But I know Rachel had tried. I know she had tried to be there for me even when everything was falling apart. This night had unearthed terrible truths, but I knew it was a final act of a long-standing horror I'd been living. Waking up in that house tonight was the final cruelty. I wish I had remained unconscious in that room forever. I wasn't sure what had happened to that other man I had found in that house. He seemed to me more a victim. But what was his role in all this? And what was hidden within those sewers I had found? The tunnel of the man's house obviously led there. But was there something I missed? I had found the contents of my wallet scattered throughout the town. Why the hell had I been out there? Had my sleepwalking gone to some new extreme? The thought that I couldn't account for my whereabouts, but knew I had been to that forest and even Norman's place, well, it was terrifying. I didn't know what that meant, but at least I had recovered my things. Hopefully, I thought that would cover my tracks so I wouldn't be blamed for all this. Even more troubling were those poor girls I had found in those terrible woods, half hidden in a shallow grave. Their secret death seemed like the ultimate defiling. If I hadn't found them, would anyone have done so? Would they have even been missed? I vaguely recalled the desk I had seen in those tunnels. The names etched there. Someone had killed those girls. Was it that man? But going from that forest, the old plant was hardly a relief. The memories of that place, Jesus, he's still going. It was painful just to think of it. There was something going on there, I knew, but I was no closer to the truth. After the factory, I thought I might find solace if I could just get to Norman's store. But all I found were more horrors and more questions. Now that I really considered it, that's when I should have seen it coming. Norman, what were you and Rachel up to? It was obvious things were more complicated than I'd ever imagined. How long had you been going behind my back? More importantly, why, Norman? We're gonna kill Rachel and probably gone after you too. Maybe they knew about what you, what you were up to. I would never know peace, Norman, but despite your transgressions, a part of me really did hope that you would. When I had marched through the rain towards home, I desperately clung to the hope that this would end. I'm desperately clinging to the hope that this narration is going to end. I get it. And I guess in a way it did, but how could I have known how hopeless it all was? I had started to feel as disoriented as, I, as when I sleepwalked to think of it now. Our house used to feel so lively, so warm, but coming into the kitchen, I felt only a cold, empty tension. Every terrible thought I had up to that point was suddenly a possibility, but nothing could have prepared me. My wife dead, ruined, discarded. Rachel's death was a terrible mystery to me, one that would haunt me forever, unless I did something about it. For what solace can a man take in the death of his wife? What comfort can be offered? Rachel had, I'm sorry, Rachel had been taken from me, and I might never know why. I put the knife down and drew a long, warm bath. I slipped into the tub. I was surprised with how calm it felt. I heard it was like going to sleep if you did it right. Jesus. So I held my arms out of the water as I made the incisions. Though the initial sting came as a shock, it was only a matter of minutes before I felt myself ebb and fade. After that, the room washed to a calming, comforting shade of gray. Okay. That's not very comforting. It's really pixely. It kind of hurts your eyes. Are you, gonna, are you really going to put me through? I had to... I read all that now just to watch a gray screen. Oh! Trophy earned a warm place. I don't feel a trophy is deserved in this situation. Here goes the uh, credits. Final thoughts. That is an hour and a half. I will never get back. In a good way, a bad way? I can't tell. 
um, it wasn't a conventional horror game. You know, I was I was so prepared for any jump scares around the corner, but it was really just a creepy horror mystery. Uh, a lot of mysteries have answers. Uh, home is dedicated to my wife Nancy. Watch your back, Jesus. That's morbid. A lot of mysteries have answers. Does this? I don't know. Did we kill everyone in, in, in our sleepwalking? You know, subconscious. Yeah. Hard to say. Was it Norman? I don't think so, because then who would have killed Norman? Was it like, I, I don't know, Rachel was like, I'm leaving you, Norman. And then Norman was like, the hell you are, Stab. And the old guy from the other house was like, I saw everything, Stab. And he was like, I can't live with myself. Stab. I don't, I don't know. But hey, that's one of the reasons why I have this channel. I play these games so you don't have to. So like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe to another round so you can come on back, see another round of something a little more lively than home. Not that I hated it. Cheers.